Hello all, welcome to OpenZ Web Attack and Security and CTF Challenges. In this hacking episode, we are going to learn about how to integrate NMAP with OSPS app framework. So this is one of the advanced okay, like session which I'm going to take today and you will love it okay when you use it okay this integration technique okay with the ZAMP, uh, with the ZAP framework. So we are going to see everything in detail how to integrate a Kali Linux tool okay uh, with OSP Zap and with a single click okay you are able to hack anything and this is one of the awesome technique this is one of the, my favorite technique to scan any application for vulnerability and to exploit any application. I am Harshad, founder and CEO of Hacker Associate. Let's start. So you can go to the Kali Linux first. So let me go to here, Kali Linux, enter the password. And here, okay, you can see here, this is my Mozilla. Let me configure the proxy. And this step, okay, I, or, I have already taught to you. So you can just check our previous classes if you are not aware about this proxy. And better okay you can use foxy proxy in my case kali linux i have not installed foxy proxy so i am going to uh, do a manual setting so i have to configure the proxy which is here and 8080 we use this proxy server for all protocol click here okay and after that i have to invoke os plus app so let me open my terminator which is here and let me go to the CD uh, desktop LS. Let me zoom this screen for you a little bit. So here you can see I have already downloaded my uh, file. Let me go to CD zap LS and here is my folder CD then zap LS. And after that you can see this is jar file. Let me start with this Java minus jar and zap dot jar so i'm waiting for okay like this app once you start then i will show you how to integrate a kali linux tool okay with zap framework and this is one of the finest technique and using a single click okay you are able to penetrate any application in the end this will be the conclusion okay and you can take any application you are free to choose any application which is listed in bug bounty program okay you are not allowed to do uh, scan on my application hackerassociate.com so waiting for OS per zap when it is started then we move to the next section so my proxy is running ok in my mozilla firefox or uh, is listening on 127.0.0.1.8080 so let me jump into this okay so finally okay we are here okay and uh, this is the first time i'm configuring so let me go to the tools so i have to import certificate so right now i don't need this section let me cross it so go to dynamic sl certificate generate certificate write it save the certificate to the desktop and save click here ok now go to the mozilla again which is here and then go to the preference privacy and security and then certificate import view certificate and import go to desktop and this is the certificate open trust this certificate and then click here click ok and it is done certificate is imported let me try with any application random application to test whatever okay, I am doing with my browser it is recording here or not so it is recording fantastic now we are ready so in our previous classes we have learned okay like if we use uh, like this option for example let's see if you simply right click here and if you go to the attack if you just simple select this port scan option right now okay you can see okay i'm not able to see any port scan here right because this particular option okay like not coming because i have not installed okay any add-ons this is called as a uh, zap marketplace so i think i have to go to the zap marketplace and i have to install port scan add-ons okay this is okay like inbuilt feature of zap framework but this part we have already seen in our previous classes so i'm not going to install okay this application here 
but if you want to install you can simply go to the marketplace i think this is the icon you can just click there and you can download the port scan add-ons for a zap framework so in this particular okay like session okay our objective is to integrate a kali linux tool okay with the zap framework so what i can do is okay uh, i have to go to the run application this side and here you can see this option called as a configure application so this is the application you can check it here this is a configure application and i can simply click on here add and once i click on this button you can see there are four parameter we have to enter so what i can do is i can simple cancel right now cancel this option uh, first i will show you okay like how to integrate properly so i am taking this example okay this website okay i am taking testfire.net okay for my testing second application which i am taking is called as zero dot web app security dot com okay third application we have already google okay we have taken so you can use this particular application for testing now we want to integrate nmap so let me okay uh, open a new terminal so this is my new terminal let me zoom for you okay now just type okay this command where is nmap so you can see this is the location of the nmap user bin nmap so let me copy this location this is a binary okay of nmap so if you run this command like that user bin nmap okay minus v example let's say www.testfire.net so this is how okay we run the nmap command okay nmap you are already familiar is the network scanning tool or port scanning tool so you can see when i run this command okay it will give you the same output so just wait for the output so here you can see uh, we got this output port 80 and port 443 these ports are open on this particular ip address which ip address the testfire.net ip address so and here you can see we got additional ports okay which is 8080 and 8443 now i'll use a okay, control c close and if you run the same command like that even if you run nmap also like that this is also correct so it means what we are doing is we are running okay nmap from the binary where it is executed there okay so all execution it is uh, okay like uh, done by user bin so user bin is a binary file where okay we are executing okay like nmap so we need okay that binary location okay and we'll put okay that location okay in our zev framework so now what i can do is i can simply close it this part okay i will minimize this part and let me go to my zap and here okay i will go to my tool section option and here you can see this is the application let me click here add button and now you can just type here nmap scanning okay this is the name i am giving full command so we know already the command is nmap okay uh, and then remove the space okay and then working directory is, is this user bin nmap and parameter so you can use okay like so for example let's say i want to use this option minus v okay and then i want to use uh, this option host percentage and then percentage close you can tick mark if you want all the option okay this is the part it means the command will be nmap space minus v space ip address okay that's how okay you can use nmap now again simple click here add button so you can see my nmap is added here now click here okay now you can see what i am going to do is with single click okay i am able to scan any application and which is a very cool thing here so now you can see here this is my testfire.net right click now i have to check for the application this is you can see here run application and you can see whatever you have written a new script for nmap it is added here and now you can simply use it this script and you will see the output shortly so let me go to this section so you can see the output are you able to see this is the output this is the output of nmap so nmap you can see this is a command and you can see these are the open ports okay in our graphical manner so we don't need okay any additional tools just like zenmap or like sparta like that we can easily uh, perform a pioneer testing using a zap so it means all tool or all script okay you can integrate okay with this os for zap 
okay which is very easy to integrate okay this is the one of the things second okay like i will show you okay like nikto so nikto is a like uh, popular open source web application scanner so if you want to scan a web application for vulnerability we will use actually nikto okay nikto is open source web application vulnerability so for example let's say if i type okay this command if i type this command called as nikto space minus h www dot uh, testfire.net for let's say take this example so you can see okay nikto is started right so you can see i'm able to see uh, the entire output okay in my command prompt means my terminal so what i can do is i can integrate this nikto okay with a zap and i can directly single click and i can start scanning okay for vulnerability so nikto can identify okay your software misconfiguration your web application vulnerability a default files and program insecure files and program and so many thing okay nikto can identify for example if you go to okay this help just type nikto space uh, minus capital h so you can see like what nikto can do so nikto can identify interesting files uh, seen in logs misconfiguration information disclosure injection remote file retrieval denial of service of attack remote file retrieval command execution remote shell sql injection file upload authentication bypass administrative console reverse tuning option and tons of options will be there here right so now same thing okay we can do with the graphical so what you can do is so you can simple go to again go to the tool go to the option and here go here add and then display okay i want to use nikto for a vulnerability assessment and the command will be nikto and working directory so working directory we have to go here again and let me just click here is uh, spread vertically and just type here uh, where is nikto so this is the binary of nikto so this is the binary called a user bin nikto let me copy this binary in the location and once you go here just press this particular okay like location after that okay like i have to use minus h option and the ip address we use okay using option called as a host so percentage host then percentage output to the not okay and then we'll going to edit here and it is done so nikto is added again so now click here okay now after that what you can do is you can simple uh, right click again so this time okay i will take okay like different application i will take this application 0.webapp.security.com so right click go to the attack so here you can see there is no pod scanning tool but if you go here run application you can see we have a nikto is integrated successfully and now click here and you will see the output shortly this side so just wait for it okay you will get output here so if you go a little bit down okay you can see nikto is started this is the nikto output so everything okay in your one terminal you can see this is the output so now you can easily make your own report and everything you can simple copy paste here and even the zap also support okay like reporting which will discuss okay in the coming part so uh, result so this is like kind of vulnerability uh, like anti click jacking x uh, frame option header is not present and many more okay it will going to scan shortly so it will take a time little bit okay depend upon uh, like uh, their database engine how it going to identify the vulnerability in same way okay like even you know there are tons of tools are available here okay in my kali linux like you can see wireless okay information gathering vulnerability assessment the entire kali even you can integrate okay to this particular okay framework the tool it means a one tool able to do anything and with a single click you are able to perform any attack that's how okay you can uh, use okay like uh, this integration technique okay with the zev framework this is one of the great tool and this is my one of the favorite section I hope this video is informative for you. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day ahead.